Joel's doing Sunday school. <laughs> I love your fork, guys. Thanks. <laughs> Here we are. Uh, <laughs> How was it? Did you like it? Every minute of that was absolutely perfect. It was lit. Ah, pollen, amazing. Yeah. Capital Kings, unreal. Yeah. Toby Mac was like, uh, oh my gosh, I don't divine. have words. Yeah, honestly, I got there's uh, there's a bunch of music that I got to go home and download because you know yeah. I've been educated. Yes. You know what I'm saying. If you guys have not heard of those artists, please check them out. Check them out. All of them are so passionate about God and about every city that they visit. And the words that they carry is like, they're just honestly anointed. So Yes, ma'am. Legit. <laughs> yes, ma'am. And she got some swag. Yeah. She got a shirt. Oh, oh I don't no. think I can show. It's black. So no I don't worries. know how well you'll, you'll see it. it no worries. From his, his line. Tell the next line. line. So we're going to head home, <laughs> get some food in our system because I'm hungry. So hungry. And uh, yeah. Um, see you tomorrow. Bye! Bye. My head's so like spinning, it's so weird. <laughs> I feel like I like to make a car <laughs> What up, what up, what up everybody? How you doing? I'm in the car right now, so I'm, I apologize for the lighting. I'm just watching for Isaac because I don't want him to like be weirded out or something and not know what I'm doing. But anyways, uh, I'm alive. Surprise. Uh, Alberta is awesome. There's a lot of snow on the ground. I will send you uh, a clip of that and it's only October so <laughs> I love my life. It's so great. Um, so Isaac got a new job. He's gonna be doing that and We come home in the last week of November for my cousin's wedding So I'm really really excited to see everybody Vanessa's gonna I think be there the same time as me So it's really really cool um and right now, for one of the first times in forever, I actually have service, uh, cause we're in town. So praise Jesus! Shout out to God! Yeah. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to show my face and say I'm alive. Don't worry. Um, and things are actually really great. So, um, I'm gonna go because people are um looking at me funny when they drive by. So <laughs> I don't think they've seen vloggers out here. Sorry, Alberta. It's okay. Okay, love you. Bye. Don't know how good you guys can see that, but that's a lot of stink and snow. There's so much more out on the farm too. And also, can we talk about uh, this huge stink and slide? This thing's awesome. I want to go on it so bad. It's so cool. But yeah, there's a lot of snow on the ground, my friends. And it's only October. Lord, give me strength. Okay, bye. What's up, guys? been a while I haven't seen you guys in a while well I guess I saw you in Italy but it feels like we haven't vlogged in so long but anyways I am on the island with my parents I'm so excited I'm so happy to be here I just feel so like inspired like God is really gonna do something while I'm here I'm just so excited to be here and start this new journey so today's a pretty awesome day um, I'm at a ladies retreat which is you know fun um, it's just a bunch of ladies hanging out worship God is 
doing some pretty cool stuff. So today we're gonna do outreach. I'm really excited for the outreach because we're going to a nursing home. Uh, we're gonna have a tea party with the little old ladies and uh, do their nails and just talk to them about God and just love on them and make them feel special. So I'm really excited for that. So I love old people for anyone who knows me. It sounds weird to say that, but I just find them so interesting. Like they just, they've obviously been around a lot longer than us. And so they just have so many cool stories. So I'm so excited just to talk to them and love on them and share God's love with them and just make them feel special. So I will vlog you guys when we get there. You sent me a card from paradise with coconut trees and a turquoise sea. A nice little note that closed with X's and O's. A sweet little tea from you to me. You bring me the sunshine. What's up, World Changers? It's me again. It's been a while, but uh, I'm glad to be back. And um, I'm just excited about what God's doing uh, in my life personally, in my friends' lives, in my family's lives. It's awesome. Um, and uh, recently, he showed me something really cool when I was reading his word that I want to share with you guys. And it'll, I know it'll really encourage you. Um, so just to set the stage, okay? Um, in David's era, he really wanted to build a temple for the Lord, for a place for him to reside. That was his heart's desire. God responded saying, I love that your heart. I love that, but there's too much blood in your hands. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cause your, your son to succeed you as king, and he will build the temple. So that's what happened. Um, as you know, his son's name is um, Solomon. So King Solomon um, um, ended up building the temple. So we're fast forwarding now to about 1 Kings chapter 8 where King Solomon built the temple he um, he you know he's praying for it he's blessing it blessing it and as he's doing that he says a phrase here that really really um, encouraged me and just messed me up in the best way possible he was referring to God when he said this he said with his mouth he promised it and with his hand he fulfilled it let me say that again. With God's mouth, he promised it. And with God's hand, he fulfilled it. So that's what um, I want to remind you guys. That the promises that God has spoken over your life, the things that God said he's going to give you, he spoke it and promised it with his mouth. And with his hand, he'll fulfill it. So be encouraged in the fact that when God says he's going to do something, he will personally use his hand to make it happen he will bring the provision he'll br bring the doors he'll open the doors that need to be open um you don't we don't need to try and make god's promises happen for our lives because it's him who does it you know he's the one that says he's gonna do it and he's he's the one that does it and i've seen that personally in my life i'm currently living in a situation where god promised something to me with his mouth and I saw the hand of God move and make it happen so um, I just want to encourage you with that you know don't give up on don't stop believing for the promises of God because he promised it with his mouth and with his hand he will fulfill it all right so I hope this encouraged you in some way you know um, you know the drill you know what I mean like comment subscribe to our YouTube channel um, sure. stay engaged with us um, share our videos and uh, yeah, see you next week. Peace.